outdoor navigation. This is what the app Komoot is made for. And we will have a first look at the basic functions of the Komoot navigator. Hello, my name is Thomas and I'm your outdoor tech instructor. You are watching a Komoot user guide and these are our topics today. How do I start a tour? How do I control the map? What does the information at the top of the screen mean? How to navigate? And how to end a tour? To start a tour, open your Komoot app. Let's say you have a Planet Tour, so open your profile, go to Planet Tours, and here is my Planet Tour. Here you have a preview of your tour. You can remove waypoints, you can scroll over the map. We will talk about this later. And you can store your tour offline. And here you have an overview for your waypoints, for elevation profile, for way type surfaces, and weather is a premium feature. And then tap or push navigation to start your navigation. So before we start talking about the display and how do you use the display and the navigator, um, just have a look at the bottom on the speaker symbol. Open this menu and this is important because here you enable and disable the voice navigation, notifications, you can set your voice navigation to mute, you can set wake up display and auto replan. I do not recommend to use auto replan um, and wake up display is important for for bicycle riding in example so I turn off the voice and I turn off the wake up display and I turn off auto replan and then finish with done so now let's have a look at the display and how do you use it here on the bottom there is a stop button and here you can pause the navigation you can continue with the green button and you can finish and save with the black button we will continue so you can move the map use your finger touch the screen and move it over the screen so you can move the map then spread your fingers to zoom out and pull your fingers together to zoom in to center the view to your position just push the button on the right corner on the button here now you're centered and you can push it again to move the map view to your view direction as you can see here and you can fix it if you push it again. Here is uh, on the top of the map, on the right top, there is a search button. It doesn't work during navigation. And here is over it, here is a uh, map tool. You can use your Komoot map, you can use the hiking map if you have. Komoot Premium, you can use the cycling map, mountain biking map. So in here you can see it on the symbol, but it's a, a premium feature. I will turn again to Komoot map and this is the standard map. So you can add more waypoints, but this is another guide. We will talk about it later. You can use the camera, 
but I don't recommend to use a camera. I use uh, the camera app from from my phone. So you can use this. So save it. And it, it will upload it immediately. That's the reason why I don't use it. Now let's have a look at the informations. Use informations. Uh, put your finger on the screen to open it. Here's the average speed on the white information. The green here or whatever color it is. You see when your next turn is in 210 meters. And the next turn is in 374 meters. And here you can move over the map to every turn at your track. So back, centering. And now to the white information. And the, this are really important information because here's your current speed. I start moving here, the current speed, my average speed, and then Move your finger from the right side to the left to switch through information. Here is a time to next waypoint and the distance to the next waypoint. And it's waypoint one. You see here, here's waypoint one. And you can open it and you see all waypoints at your route. So push it again and information will close so then move to next information so this is traveled kilometers your distance and your remaining distance and then time in motion and remaining time in motion here the elevation level or the elevation map you can expand it just push on it and here you can see your position and um, you see uh, the, the surface of your route is mostly green if you have uh, high elevation levels it becomes red yeah when it becomes dark <laughs> it's really really high to climb um, okay close it again so next information is your elevation you have climbed and your current attitude. So, and this one is weather conditions, live weather conditions, but this is a premium feature. So, here comes a turn left. You see in the display a path in 30 meters and if you have enabled the voice navigation you will get a notification by the Komoot system to turn left so now we turn and the direction turned and I have enabled the map to view direction and I can disable and the map will be fixed in north and south and push it again and here the map turns again into view direction let's have another look to the map the blue line is the planet track the planet route and the red line is your your track your current track and uh, the red dot is your position and there is a small arrow and it shows your direction where you looking at or where you moving at and it works very well your smartphone needs a integrated compass 
if you want to expand your map your uh, your automatic rotation for the display has have to be enabled and then you can rotate your screen and here is a problem I just push the information and then I got an expanded map and here are information on the left and the right top corner you can you can also move from left to right or from right to left through information and you can move to your turning points as you can see here and the map jumps to the next turning point of the route and then just rotate your screen again and your map will go to standard view and here is something you should know about the stop button I push it long or tap it long and if I pause now navigation and when I move without continuing navigation Komoot will not track my route um, Komoot draws a line from the point where I stop or pause navigation and when I continued there will Komoot draw a line you have no real tracking at this time so keep in mind we arrive point B this is your end point all other waypoints are numbered and your start and your end point are point A and point B if we arrive point B you will get a voice notification if you have turned it on so if we arrive Komoot will stop navigation but it won't stop tracking so if you do not stop the track Komoot will track until you stop it navigation ends automatically and here you can see the track is continuing now and, and, and here are no navigation information left so now I push and tap the stop button and then I will finish and save and here you can choose your spot but you can change it later on the desktop in example so I tap yes and here are people they were joining me to my hike and then I push next here can, I can create highlights I push next and here I can add pictures to the track and then done and here are information of my track spot is hiking duration of the track length and my average speed and no participants your highlights photos and track and the elevation map and then finish to close the track and the navigation for even more instructions i recommend the videos on the left side if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and a comment my name is thomas i'm your outdoor tech instructor see you soon